In this video, we are going to show you how to download and install IFO Studio for Linux. Here we are using Ubuntu, but the instructions in this video should work for any distribution of Linux. First, open your browser and go to www.ifo.com. From the IFO Studio menu, choose Download. You will get to a page with a registration form where we will ask you some simple information about yourself. Make sure that your email address is correctly entered to receive the download link. If you want to use Eiffel Studio for open source development, take note of the following link that will take you to a separate download page. Make sure to choose the right platform. In our case, we are using Linux on a 32-bit machine. You can choose also whether or not you want to sign up for our monthly newsletter by ticking the corresponding box. Once you click on the request download link button, you should go to your inbox and look for an email from Eiffel Software. In this email, you are going to find the information needed to proceed with your download as well as other important information from Eiffel Software. Make sure to double check again that you have downloaded on the right platform. You can go ahead and click on the link to download. Now we are going to save the file in the default location. Wait for the file to download. Now that the file is downloaded, we can extract it. To do that, we are going to open a shell window. The extracted file should be under your download folders. This is the file. We are going to extract the file in the current directory, just like this. Once the file is downloaded, we have extracted it in the local directory and it has the name Eiffel underscore 14.05, the most current version at the time of this demo. Now we just need to set up a few more things, such as the environment variable. First, you need to export ISC underscore Eiffel to your home to the path where Eiffel Studio was installed. The following value should read home forward slash Eiffel forward slash Eiffel underscore 14.05. We also need to export the platform on which we are running Eiffel Studio. It's a Linux 32 version, so I just entered. And we may also want to set the path so that you can automatically launch Eiffel Studio. And the path is the following. Once you have done that, you can launch Eiffel Studio by typing eStudio. Now that you have set up the environment variable, you can actually set them in your .bash RC file. And you can add them here. This will enable you to set them once for good without having to set them each time. We are going to refresh our environment by typing tilde forward slash dot bash rc 
and let's verify that it is now included in our path by typing which Eiffel Studio. Now you are set up to use Eiffel Studio. Make sure to check out the next video where we will show you how to register and activate Eiffel Studio. Thank you for watching.